name is David Aker. I am originally from Atlanta, Georgia, 37 years old. I am full-time a strategy consultant, have a small strategy practice, but in addition, I also paint. Provided me with a variety of sketchbooks, crayon, pencils, pens, paint, and I just naturally gravitated towards art. Essentially, started in, in figurative, I guess more of a figurative style, and over time it morphed into my own style of painting. I call my style maximalism, and what maximalism is, is an, a fusion or amalgamation of various shapes and colors that have more of a dynamic movement. For example, in this painting, you can see a variety of shapes and colors that appear to be either moving off the canvas or traveling through the canvas. And so it's the detail in regards to not only the geometric shapes such as these squares, triangles, and circles, but it's also the gradients or the various levels of depth in terms of the color that's involved in crafting. So maximalism is a hybrid. It has a lot of figurative. For example, you can see a person's face. This is one of the central motifs in a lot of my paintings uh, called Spirit Man. But then you can also see a lot of abstract shapes as well. So it's a mixture between reality and fantasy as well as virtual and visual, and that's how I would define uh, maximalism. In regards to composing or starting with the piece, it all depends on the theme or even just the inspiration. So I don't have one unique format, but I use a variety. For example, for some of the more simplistic pieces, I may start with rather a freeform method or just paint the or compose the pieces I go along. For more technical, complex pieces, such as the one I'm standing inside, I may start with an initial sketch. And with that sketch, I will sketch out the various regions or areas within the piece. piece that I am standing in front of is entitled Maximal Steps, in parentheses, an introduction to multidimensional maximalism. This piece was rather groundbreaking in that I actually totally evolved in terms of the type of technique and process of painting or producing this work or even composing this work. I started with an initial sketch of the work in addition to building what I called a color construct, where I mapped out every specific color to every single shape before even starting uh, composing or painting the piece. This piece is composed as a triptych, meaning there are three central panels or three different sections. In this uh, piece, the central focus point is this quantum-powered racer that appears to be traveling through an infinite spectrum in the world of maximalism. In addition, you have collages of birds as well as you have jets, you have geometric shapes such as stars, in addition to multi-dimensional objects such as cubes, 
circles or cylinders, octagons, triangles, and pyramids. In regards to composing this piece, I experimented with different types of technical approaches or methods, materials. I interspersed different forms of mixed media, as well as advanced polymers that would give certain areas more of a high gloss finish and then other areas more of a regular gloss or matte finish. So it was really more so of an exploratory approach of pushing the boundaries of contemporary art as well as the approach, normal or traditional approaches that are employed. Power. Focused. Japanese. Eclectic. Rapid. Psychedelic. Violent. Unbalanced. Explosion. Geometric, fast, playful, bright, colorful, African, aggressive, violent, serene, motion. Central American. Spirited. Excitement. Bright. Watchful. Maximalism is not a static genre of art, but more of an evolving uh, genre of art. It's still in its infancy, and I plan on exploring respective fields or even even subject matter throughout my course as a painter. Art is not only a form of relaxation, but it's also a form of refinement for me. After being involved with arts over 30 years, it's been more of a refinement of a skill or a trade or a practice that I've done most of my life. And so with art, it allows me to express my creative side, as well as refine uh, technical skills that I've acquired over the years. It allows me also to expand into new territories and create things that have never been done before or pioneer new forms or genres of art. And so what really fascinates me or makes me rather passionate about art is that I look at it as an open book or an open world or an open road in which I can bring to reality whatever comes out of my mind.